Good morning and happy early 4th of July. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple and patriotic dessert for your 4th of July party or holiday cookout. So let's get into it. The first thing that you're going to need is a small mason jar. So if you don't have one of these, if you, you can get a bunch of those small disposable plastic cups or you can actually make this recipe in a giant bowl if you don't want to have all of your, your friends and family eating individual servings or a big trifle bowl because this is going to be a very parfait or you can also call it a trifle cake. So the first thing that we have here are some minced up graham crackers. I put one graham cracker in a small bag. I smashed it up and we're gonna use one graham cracker per serving. So I'm just gonna pour that right into my mason jar, but leave a little bit left so that we have a nice topping for the very end. Okay, so we have our graham cracker at the bottom. The next thing, we have some blueberries. I'm just gonna take a couple handfuls, put them right into your, the jar or cup or bowl, depending on what you're using. All right, that, that looks about good. You just want it to be about even layers. Next, we have Cool Whip, but not normal Cool Whip. We have Coconut Cool Whip, which is healthier, no hydrogenated oils. It's by So Delicious, that's the brand that I really like. And I'm just gonna plop this right on in. So Cool Whip, uh, the Coconut Cool Whip, I really like it in this because it adds a really smooth, creamy flavor. The coconut makes it a little bit more rich, I think. So it's one of my favorites. But you can use normal Cool Whip if you want. It's still gonna be way healthier than a cream cheese icing or something else that's loaded with sugar. Next, we have strawberries. So we have our red, white, and blue, and we're gonna put that right on top. I just diced these strawberries up really small, about two to three per person, depending on the size of your strawberries. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is take the rest of the Cool Whip and we're gonna top that on top. This is how we're gonna finish it off. So go ahead and use the rest of that. Get it all nice and covered so the strawberries aren't showing. And then I like to garnish the dish with a little bit more strawberries. Kind of drop them on there, doesn't have to be anything special. And then take some of the smaller blueberries that you have and you can do the same. And the last step is to take that saved graham cracker and we're just going to kind of shake it on top so that it looks extra pretty and they get some of the graham cracker at the top and the bottom. So here you go, here's your quick and easy 4th of July treat for your guests to enjoy. Mine is melting through because this was previously frozen, so keep that in mind whether you're buying frozen Cool Whip or refrigerated Cool Whip, that's gonna make a big difference for your holiday party. But with that, guys, I hope you have an amazing holiday this week. And if you want more recipes like this, you can go ahead and check out my number one best-selling book, Eat to Thrive, the Anti-Diet Cookbook. You can snag that on Amazon or go to katiesampayo.com for more free resources to help you thrive in every single aspect of your life. With that, guys, back to you at the studio.